value what we have achieved. I have had to fight for everything my entire life. So if you're having friends over this weekend to watch the new season of House of Cards, you'll need to feed them. Chef and owner of the Fidel Gastro Street Food Company, Chef Matt Basile has been inspired by some binge-worthy TV shows, and he's in the AM Kitchen to share his menu with us. You've got some really great ideas. I'm full of them. <laughs> Watch know. out. So, And we were talking just even in the break about Rizzo. So the ribs are the... That's House of Cards. House so, of Cards. Yeah, that's uh, President Underwood's, uh, you know, dish of choice as ribs. You know, you see it kind of as his presidency, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, progresses, the ribs become a bigger, bigger thing. He even feeds them to the president at dinner one night. And the fried chicken? Fried chicken was Fuller House. I crushed a whole season of Fuller House on <laughs> Did Sunday. Did you? Crushed it. Oh, my gosh. And the whole, like, the first three episodes, they keep going back to this plate of fried chicken. It, like, stops conversations. <laughs> They're like, oh, look, fried chicken. And I was like, you know what? I feel like some fried chicken now. So you have the fried chicken with a little bit of pickles, some acid to kind of cut Very the, nice, yeah. the fat. Uh, we you know soak it in buttermilk, fry it in seasoned flour. The ribs, I it's like a 24-hour brine, six-hour smoke, and then I do a root beer and hoisin barbecue sauce. For oh my it. gosh, and it smells so good. And okay, and then the nachos. The nachos. So we're gonna do shrimp nachos. Okay. Uh, and that's for actually one of my favorite shows, which is Bloodline. Yeah. So one of the characters, Danny, when he comes back to the bed and breakfast of his family, he actually becomes like a chef and takes over the menu and seafood was like one of the first things Perfect. that they implemented. Right? I love the idea of seafood I know, nachos. I thought it was great. So you and I are gonna build these okay. nachos together. We have a nice platter with some grilled limes, but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our marinade. So we have some fresh cilantro. Oh, okay. You wanna actually do this? I'm gonna sure, just hang it back. Okay. So squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there. Okay. Uh, or, or, or on my suit, yeah. <laughs> wherever it goes. We're seasoning the clothing and the and the shrimps. Mm -hmm. A little bit more there, okay. <gasps> little jalapeno no, oh, to your discretion. A little? Like, your this discretion. Is huge. Well, I mean, just, just throw it in. Yeah, yeah, throw it in. We're gonna blitz it. Well, that's oh, not right. a whole jalapeno. That's oh, just a chunk. Well, and then one. there's some garlic down here too. Okay. okay. So the jalapeno, a little bit more cilantro. Okay, well, a little let's bit just more. Do that throw a little heat. bit of smoked paprika in there, just a little okay. bit. A little smoked paprika for some color. Wow. Little onion powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit oh, of Canadian okay. canola oil. I use the canola oil because the, the subtleness of it doesn't overpower yeah, all the other flavors, right. which I think is key for this okay. dish. All right, do you want to give that a little blend? Okay, so with the head, is this going to come out all over me? No, 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 okay. you're good, you're good. And you can wear my apron next time. I know, right? I'm going to add a little more oil for you. Okay. Blitz, blitz, blitz. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those jalapenos. <laughs> Beautiful. So now okay. I'm going to turn the pan on. And you've got some shrimp. Yep. That you're just, you kind of cooked them already yeah, I, a little bit. Yeah, I partially bit. cooked them out before we got on. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of that sauce to it. Okay. Which is great. Throw a little more oil on there. A little more sauce. Okay, so Let's while I'm doing that. this. No, no, it's okay. Okay. I'm kind of a Jedi. No. <laughs> Uh, so while I'm doing this, do you want to put a little bit of our pico de gallo? Okay. A little bit, so throw a little pico de gallo right over the... Um, Sorry, is that the pico de gallo? That's the pico de gallo, okay. yeah. So I, I didn't, I didn't was... come with signs, yeah. And then I'll do <laughs> the guacamole. I thought that was bruschetta, so I'm going <laughs> to Oh my. First off, it's bruschetta. Okay. <laughs> Oops. And uh, it's uh, bruschetta. <laughs> I've been learning so much from this, just there we go. from chatting with you before. So we have some guacamole. And I love the whole idea of, I'm all about sharing platters, so yes. we got the sharing plat. It's, it's great, right? Fun that way. If you're binge watching and you need something to eat, you don't want little rinky-dink plates of food. You want no. something substantial. And it's so much fun, and I love the fact that you put these to the actual shows. Okay. All right, so then we got some sour cream here. Yeah. Look at you, this you're an artist. Well. <laughs> I'm just here for show, but you're <laughs> the artist here. Like, oh my goodness. All right, so now we're gonna take, this is some queso fresco, some nice okay. fresh cheese. Over the top. It's a lighter option for, so you don't have like the melted cheese. No, you gotta uh, have like cheese of some cheese kind. Cheese of some sort. Yeah, I agree. Mm. We're seasoning your table here too. I hope mm, that's okay. That's okay. That's good. All right, so then. Oh, that's smell fantastic. Give it a little toss. This is called mm. shaking the pans. All right, and oh, you stole my wow. tongs. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You're, still, you're still on the team. We're good. All right, so now we're just gonna good. put some shrimp right over the top. What a great idea. You know, and then now, because you've already partially cooked it, mm -hmm. basically the shrimp is now just soaking up all those flavors. You know, the oil really lets, uh, like, the cilantro and the garlic so and the jalapeno. So with all of those jalapenos that we put in there, it, it, they'd, be, they'd be fairly a good heat amount of heat. This is mild for me. I don't know. I mean, I'm just... This is mild. So, okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to throw mean, these down. I love, look how great 
that is. And with the guac, it's got some good stuff for you in yeah, there. Yeah, you know, and I mean, the, this way, like, the entire dish is just covered with a whole lot of color, a lot of fresh ingredients. What a great idea. You know, like I said, we're really seasoning this yeah. table. We like it. Nice yeah. and seasoned. I like it. There we go. So we got the fresh cilantro on top. And you did the sour cream already. Sour right? cream's okay. underneath there. And this, just a quick mention, because I think this is really interesting. These are pork side ribs. Pork side ribs. Which you Saint love. St. Louis cut. Yeah. I love that idea. A little more fat, but a lot more flavor. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to have all of the recipes on our website, canadam.cdvnews.ca, and we will be right back. Can we eat now?